What's going on, everybody? You back, rocking with sweet science. You're on the air. Subscribe to the channel. <clears throat> Beat the like button up. Make sure you hit that bell icon to get all your post notifications. Cause I talk boxing here, man. Um, you know, I feel like my channel is one of the last few places that you could come to get your get your real boxing talk in. I didn't say the last place, but definitely one of the last places that you could go. So subscribe to the channel. Again, hit the like button so I could, you know, I can see that y'all interested. Well, I mean, I know, I know a lot of y'all interested because I do get a lot of feedback and stuff like that. But to keep the channel going, make sure you show love. Um, but what I, I, I actually didn't even plan on doing this video. Um, but I just, I, 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 I gotta say something on this, man. I gotta say something on this. So I've been seeing over the last few days. <clears throat> maybe maybe they've been talking about it longer. Um, but I've been seeing over the last uh, few days that the WBC, which stands for We Be Cheating, World Boxing Corruption, the WBC, and of all people, one of the biggest Deontay Wilder haters of all time, Tony Bellew, have come together in an attempt to make a new weight class called, uh, I think it's Super Cruiserweight. You know, man, not only did or are they proposing this new weight class, but Tony Bellew, a guy from the UK, he comes out and says that Alexander Usyk and Deontay Wilder should fight for the belt. At this point, I gotta ask, what the fuck is the UK's obsession with Deontay Wilder about? DA, whether y'all talking about him negatively or whether you're talking about him positively, which y'all don't over there, but that's okay because Deontay Wilder is supported in the United States. But what? why the fuck is the UK so fucking obsessed with Deontay Wilder, bro? Y'all stay bridging up Wilder. Oh, my God. Yeah, for a motherfucker who y'all say can't fight, y'all sure are wanting to do a lot of fights. He should fight Alexander Usyk. He should fight Dillian White. Like, fuck, man. Oh, my God. Y'all, it's crazy because y'all claim y'all don't like Wilder. Y'all claim he's a shit house. Y'all claim he can't box. Y'all claim he's nothing. What my question is, is if the dude isn't anything and he, he, he's such a bad fighter and, oh, he's a shit house and he's a dasa. Why are y'all always so obsessed with him? Fucking Tony Bellew, you, you bitch ass nigga. If y'all gonna make a new weight class, boy, then go find some niggas that weigh that much. That wanna fight in that weight class. What this is really about is them niggas don't want Deontay Wilder to be the king of the heavyweight division no more. Since we all know Tyson Fury's the cheat of a fucking lifetime. I actually used to have a lot of respect for Tyson Fury. Um and then as time went on, that shit just went down more and more and more and more and more and more and more. You know, we, we we real fighters, we real fight fans over here. And just the fact that the UK is still rocking with Tyson Fury when he's already, I'm not even talking about the Wilder fights, when he's already a known cheat. This is a fact. He's already a known cheat, so I'm not talking about just the Wilder fights. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about this motherfucker Fury is like ridiculously known cheat. A ridiculously known cheat. So I just don't I don't understand, man, why Deontay Wilder is so on these UK cats' minds so much. Tony Bellew, keep Deontay Wilder at your mouth, bro. 
Y'all act like y'all got all this extensive boxing knowledge. You, Paulie Malignaggi, y'all y'all say the same the same rhetoric, but it don't add up. The numbers ain't adding up, man. The equation is not adding up. Tony Bellew always trying to critique Wilder, talking about what Wilder needs to do and what he doesn't do. But yet, Tony Bellew, you weren't undefeated. You got your ass knocked out. So if you had so much boxing knowledge, boy, how you get your ass beat? If you had so much boxing knowledge, you got handled more than Deontay Wilder. You know what I'm saying? Paulie Malignaggi is another one. They talk about all this extensive boxing knowledge they got. And I don't like the way Deontay Wilder throws hooks. He should be busier. This and that, blah, blah, blah. But Paulie Malignaggi wasn't undefeated either. You got your ass touched up on several occasions. So if you were so good, if y'all were so good, why weren't y'all undefeated? Why didn't y'all records look like Deontay Wilder's? And then you got the idiots talking about, oh, he fought bombs. First of all, the average fight fan, I don't even really, I don't even really debate casuals or argue with y'all because y'all don't know what y'all talking about. Y'all not hard. Y'all ain't never been to fight in y'all life. Y'all can't fight. Most of y'all got little boy bodies. Ain't a fucking muscle in your body, boy. Ain't knock nobody out in your life. You know what I'm saying? So I don't even really debate y'all casuals like that. But even y'all casuals, bro, talking about, well, he fought all bums. First of all, you can't beat up nobody the man fought. You fight Luis Ortiz. And speaking of, speaking of Luis Ortiz, y'all UK motherfuckers, y'all was, was the same ones. Y'all was the same ones talking about, y'all ain't giving Deontay Wilder no credit for Luis Ortiz because he's 40 years old. Dillian White was popping all that shit. Oh, Deontay Wilder fights old man. He beats up old man. Anybody could beat an old man. And then Dillian White, a fighter from the UK, gets his stupid ass knocked out by a 41-year-old Alexander Povetkin. So, I, just that alone proves it. I don't want to hear no more skills talk. No more Deontay Wilder fights old men talk. Dillian White got knocked out by an old man. I'm glad he lost that. That position he had with the WBC, so we don't have to hear him anymore. And when Wilder knocks Fury out this third time in this third fight, I don't want to hear shit. I don't want to hear a fucking thing from none of you UK motherfuckers. I used to, I used to have respect for the UK too, but y'all, y'all motherfuckers, man. I don't y'all, y'all a bunch of beta males. Y'all a bunch of motherfuckers who can't be alpha males. And y'all see somebody like a Deontay Wilder who has all the confidence in the world and you hate him for that because you can't have that same confidence about yourself. That means you're not a man. You ain't a man's man. You know what I'm saying? So as far as this new weight class, man, debt that shit. That shit is cap. That shit's ridiculous. If it goes up to 220, because Tony Bell, you think... It'll be hard as hell for Wilder to go over that. It's really about trying to keep Wilder out of the heavyweight division and away from bitch-ass Tyson Fury. So, no to the new weight class. Fuck the WBC. Um, Yeah, and that's, that's what I came to say here today, man. Fuck that new weight class. Fuck the WBC. Fuck Mauricio Suleiman. And fuck Tony Bellew. So, again... You rockin' with Sweet Science. You on the air, subscribe to the channel, and I'm out.